Assalamualaikum and hello My name is Kara Arif Hakimi With metric number DN220148 So now our group will present to you about plastic injection molding design optimization Before that, I will introduce to you the group member of our group The first one uh, Nur Aina Mardiam Binti Virus, the leader of the group The next one, Kairul Arif Hakimi bin Kairul Anwar as the leader assistant The next one, Muhammad Nu'man bin Muhammad Yusuf as the group member Muhammad Fauzan Azim bin Muhammad Failis as the group member And Ng Guan Peng as the group member Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Aina Mardia Binti Fairuz and my metric number is DN220146. I will continue the presentation of our group project which is about technology development of plastic injection molding. So, what is plastic injection molding? The plastic injection molding is a method to obtain molded products by injecting plastic materials molten by heat into a mold and then cooling and solidifying them. This method is suitable for the mass production of products with complicated shapes and takes a large pie in the area of plastic processing. Other than that, the idea behind injecting molding is simple because melt plastic, pour it into a mold, shape the part, cool and then demold. It is to discrete or discontinuous process that produces parts. Besides that, injection molding machines can be used more than any other type of equipment in plastic processing, which the machine can produce many complex components such as medical parts, automotive parts, electrical parts, computer parts, and so on. So let's go to the next slide. Plastic injection molding brings more pros but however it has cons as well. So I will start with the pros of it which is low scrape rates. Injection molding produces less scrape compared to the traditional manufacturing processes and CNC machining. Next, high productivity which is it has a fast production rate and can produce voluminous plastic part in a single cycle. Other than that, low labor cost. It is a highly automated process because most of the steps are conducted by machine. And lastly, a high repeatable. Injection molding can produce multiple parts with consistent form and dimension. Next, the cons of plastic injection molding. So the first point of it is difficult to make changes in the part design, for instance, before mass production, mold tooling is designed, fabricated and tested which raises the investment cost. Next, expensive tooling which any change in the shape and dimensions of the part necessitates changes in the dimension of the mold cavities. And the last one is limitation in the part design. So, for the more details about the pros and cons, you can read it in our written report. So, that's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. So the next part is current or as extent technology. Next, I will move to current or existing technology parts. Plastic injection molding is a current and widely adopted technology in Malaysia. Injection molding has been used for many years in Malaysia to produce plastic components for various industries. In terms of implementation, plastic injection molding involves several processes that allow for the creation of plastic parts with high precision and consistency. The working principle of plastic injection molding in Malaysia is the same as in other countries, as outlined in the previous subtopic, which granulating, melting, injection cooling, and ejection. However, the process is adapted to suit the specific requirements of Malaysian business and industries. So, the implementation plastic injection molding in Malaysia typically involves with several steps, which is tooling, design, and material selection, injection molding, and quality control. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Fauzan Azim bin Muhammad Fahilis, matrix number DN220114. 
Now I will continue our sharing about plastic injection molding process flow chart. First step is the raw material of solid plastic will be inserted into injection barrel through the hopper. After that, the injection screw rotates and moves molten material to the chamber. The mold will close and injection molding screw move forward to insert to inject molten plastic into the molds. After that, machine will repeat first and second step for prepare the shot for next circle while the packing and cooling process. And the last one, finished part will remove from mold when the mold open. Next, I will explain about a few parameters of plastic injection molding process. First parameter is plasticization. Plasticization is when the raw material for engineering plastic are heated in barrel to a flowing state and have good plasticity. It is to ensure the quality of engineering plastic products. The general requirement for production process like molding temperature and molten quantity. Next is the injection. Molten plastic injected into the mold until the mold cavity is about 95% filled. The shorter the filling time is the higher the molding efficiency. After that, the holding pressure. The objective of the pressure holding step is continuously apply pressure, compact the melting and increase the plastic density to compensate for material shrinkage. The last one is cooling down. The design of the cooling system is important because only after a plastic product has been cooled and solidified to a specific rigidity can it withstand warping broke on by external force after injection so now we continue to the next part so the plastic injection molding is an important technology and why because the concept of plastic injection molding in which when john and asaya hired two brothers obtained a patent for the first molding machine in 1872 next in 1903 after i chengren and theodore becker the two German scientists uh, introduced the soluble variations of cellulose acetate which is more resistant to fire. And then last point is plastic injection mold design and XC manufacturing using the platform of UG software's CAD uh, mold wizard or CAM components which is from the import technology. Implementation of plastic injection molding design optimization. Now back to me to explain about implementation of the plastic injection molding design optimization. The use of software injection molding flows can be anticipated and identified before the start of manufacture at the mold design state. A wise choice of kit position will decrease the amount of time needed to fill the item and control the temperature dispersion. The injection gate position is crucial in injection molding. For the example of plastic injection molding company in Malaysia like Profine Plastic Sendirian Merhat, May Plastic Manufacturing Sendirian Merhat, Nam Kiong Sendirian Merhat, Axel Mold Manufacturing Sendirian Merhat, and HH Precision Mold Sendirian Merhat. As stated in NAP 2020, two of the objective is reduce carbon emission of vehicle by improving fuel economy level and also having significant level of R&D for vehicle upper body. As we know, plastic is widely used in producing automotive parts such as plastic fuel tanks, bumpers, headlights, and uh, dashboards, and the interior parts of the vehicle. Plastic injection molding design optimization is important to produce quality parts and also reduce the defect of the part in producing cycle. Plastic injection molding design optimization uses the aspect of customization and flexibility, which the NPAP 2020 emphasized the significance of producing vehicles that meet customers' diverse needs and preference. Besides, when the plastic injection molding design can be optimized, that can help to reduce costs from both energy and material consumption. And the last thing is the optimization of plastic injection mold design can reduce the cycle time, which can produce more parts and uh, quality parts in the shortened time. Environmental and sustainability. As for the next part, so what is the contribute? to the environmental and sustainability of the plastic injection molding. So the first point is recyclable. The recycling potential of various plastic materials are various. While PVC and polycarbonate are less frequently recycled, other plastics such as uh, polyethylene terephthalate 
and HDPE are routinely recycled. The product's design and composition can have an impact on its potential to be recycled compared to products with numerous plastic components or materials such as plastic couples with metal or rubber. Single type plastic products are typically easier to recycle. Okay, next, eco-friendly and energy efficiency. The optimized designs often require less material, which translates into shorter injection molding cycle times. This results in energy savings as the injection molding machines consume less power during the production process. Additionally, using efficient cooling system and optimizing the mold design can further enhance energy efficiency. In addition, design optimization can involve considering alternative materials that are more eco-friendly, such as bio-based plastic, biodegradable plastic, or recycled materials. These sustainable materials can help reduce the environmental impact of plastic injection molding. The material used in plastic injection mold is thermoplastic, which they can be melted and reshaped at a certain temperature and be reused for producing other parts. These properties allow the thermoplastic can be reused and instead of being landfill. Thermoplastic also has better corrosion resistance and lightweight compared to steel. The property for corrosion resistance of thermoplastic helps the parts have longer lifespan and instead of being replaced frequently after being corroded. When the process of plastic injection molding is optimized, they are more potential to producing other parts to substitute a not major structure of the car to substitute the usage of steel. Thermoplastic enhances fuel efficiency of a vehicle as it helps to reduce car weight. So now for the last part in our presentation, benefits in terms of carbon dioxide savings. So the first point is material efficiency. So uh, by optimizing the design of plastic injection molding parts, it is possible to reduce the amount of material required to create the component. Second, the energy and efficiency. Design optimization can also contribute to the energy savings during the injection molding process by minimizing the complexity of the part, improving mold cooling channels or optimizing gate locations. The third one is waste reduction. By optimizing the design, it is possible to reduce waste generated during the injection molding process. The fourth point, transportation efficiency. Optimized design can result in components that are lighter and smaller in size without compromising functionality or strength. The fifth uh, point is product durability and life cycle consideration. Design optimization can improve the durability and lifespan of plastic injection molded products by selecting appropriate materials, improving structural integrity or incorporating features like reinforcement ribs. Product can be made more robust and less prone to failure. I think that's all the presentation of the plastic injection molding design optimization. Thank you.